हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज शायन एंड वेलकम टू माई बायोलॉजी क्लास टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्यून सिस्टम इन ह्यूमन बॉडी हेयर वी विल एक्चुअली ट्राई टू नो हाउ डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ अवर इम्यून सिस्टम आर इंटरलिंक्ड विथ इच अदर एंड हेल्प प्रोवाइडिंग इम्यूनिटी इन अवर बॉडी एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो देन डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन ऑफ अवर चैनल लेट स्टार्ट विथ द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इम्यूनिटी the ability of our body to fight against all types of foreign invaders is called immunity here the term foreign invaders means different types of pathogens germs or antigen or toxic substances produced by those pathogens or germs the study of immunity is known as immunology immunology so this is the branch of biology that actually deals with our immune system the term immunity is actually derived from the latin word immunes so this is the latin word from where the term immunity was is actually taken from and scientist edward jenner edward jenner who discovered the vaccine for the smallpox for the first time is considered as the father of immunology now let's know about the immune system what is immune system immune system different type of cells tissues organs those all act together to help to build immunity of our body actually forms our immune system here different types of cells means different types of wbc like neutrophils monocytes lymphocytes macrophages etc different type of tissue means different types of lymphoid tissue uh, lymphoid nodes bone marrow etc and different type of organs such as spleen tonsil thymus etc all together actually help and act coordinately to build our immune system so immune system provide our body a shield that actually helps our body to protect from different kind of invaders invaders like physical invaders or chemical or biological invaders so here immune system actually form a kind of shield of our body now let's discuss about different type of immune system of our body our immune system can be divided into two types innate immune system and adaptive immune system now let's discuss about few of its characteristics let's start with the characteristic features of our innate immune system innate immune system is non specific that means it generally not identify any individual pathogens rather they can mount their generalized immune reaction to fight against all type of foreign invaders in our body next point is this type of immune system is present in our body since our birth actually this type of immune system is inherited from our parents the next point is this type of innate immune system has quick response and it acts as the first line of our body defense system now let's discuss about some characteristic features of adaptive immune system this type of immune system is highly specific they can recognize different type of germs or pathogens and mount different type of immune reaction against those pathogens or germs next point is this type of adaptive immune system can be acquired by our body only after birth that means this type of immune system can be developed after direct exposure of different kind of disease causing germs or pathogens or antigens next point is this type of immune system is delayed has delayed response and it acts as the second line of body defense system now on the type of uh, exposure adaptive immune system can be divided further into two types active immunity active immunity and passive immunity now let's try to know about active and passive immunity 
Active immunity can be developed in our body by direct exposure of pathogens or this type of active immunity can also be developed by vaccination. And passive immunity can be developed by supplying ready-made antibody in our body. So these are the two different types of adaptive immune system of our body. Now let's know about different components of innate and adaptive immune system. Now let's discuss about different components of our innate and adaptive immune system. Let's start with the components of our innate immune system. The first component is the physical barriers. Here different kind of epithelial linings like skin, mucous membrane, mucous membrane acts as the physical barriers. Next type is the physiological barriers. Here lysozyme, lysozyme that is present in our saliva, HCL present in our uh, gastric juice, bile etc. act as the physiological barriers. Next component of innate immune system is the cellular barriers. Here different types of WBC, macrophages, macrophages and different type of other cells like NK cells, dendritic cells help to build a kind of barriers. Next type of barrier is cytokine barrier. This is actually the special type of chemical, the chemical which is known as interferon. Interferon. This type of chemical actually secrete against viral infection and they fight against viral diseases. Now let's know about the different components of our adaptive immune system. Our first component is antibody mediated immune system. It is also known as humoral immunity. And this type of immune system is actually mediated by the help of B cell or B lymphocyte. They produce antibody which actually helps to destroy different pathogens or antigens. Next component is cell mediated immune system. And this type of immune system is actually act with the help of T cell or T lymphocytes. There are different type of T cells like TH, TC or TS type of T lymphocytes. So these are the different components of our immune system. These components will never act independently, rather they act coordinately with each other and fight against different disease causing pathogens or antigens. Now, let's discuss about the coordinate mechanism of our innate and adaptive immune system. Now, let's try to know how innate and adaptive immune system act coordinately. And with the help of this schematic representation, we will try to find out that mechanism. Whenever any pathogen invades our body, it may enter in three different places inside our body. It may be entered or engulfed by macrophages. It may be freely floats inside our blood, especially in the blood plasma or it may also get entered inside our any general nucleated body cell. Now let's know what will happen if any pathogen enters or engulfed by macrophages, NK cells or dendritic cells. These cells generally termed as APC or antigen presenting cells. These cells after ingesting the pathogen digest, destroy the pathogen inside their cell and express their antigenic portion outside of their cell membrane. These antigenic portion of the pathogen are generally expressed by special type of receptor, class 2 MHC molecule. This is a special type of receptor which help to activate T8 cell or T helper cell. And then T helper cell will secrete a special type of chemical known as cytokine which is also known as interferon. This chemical will then activate more and more T cell, B cell, macrophages at that place of reaction and bring all these immune cells at that place of reaction to create a huge immune response so that they can easily destroy the pathogen. Now the B cell which gets stimulated or activated by TH cell now will produce huge amount of antibody and these antibody will bind or mark the pathogen which are freely floating inside our blood and help them to destroy. Thus, these different cells help in the destruction of the pathogen or antigen produced by the pathogen inside our cell or body. Now let's know 
what will happen if the pathogen enters in any type of our nucleated body cell suppose this is our general type of nucleated body cell whenever the pathogen enters such kind of cell the cell will try to destroy the pathogen with the help of lysosome and then it will express their antigenic portion on their cell membrane with the help of another type of special receptor which is known as class 1 mhc molecule this class 1 mhc molecule will then stimulate or activate cytotoxic t lymphocyte or simply known as tc cells this tc cells will then secrete another special group of chemicals which will then destroy the pathogen carrying normal body cell thus this process also lead in the destruction of the pathogen or pathogen carrying body cell thus different component of innate and adaptive immune system coordinately act with each other now the important thing is that our immune cells can create memory from the first time exposure of any disease and that will help the body cell to fight more rapidly on the next exposure by the same pathogen now let's try to learn about primary and secondary immune responses our immune response is of two type primary immune response and secondary immune response primary immune response is the first exposure of our body immune cells to any foreign pathogens or foreign antigens in case of primary immune response at first our innate immunity get activated now this innate immunity may have two different phases if our innate immunity succeed to fight against that germs it may lead to the absence of disease but if our innate immune system fails it will activate the adaptive immune response of our body now this adaptive immunity may also have two different phase if the adaptive immune system succeed it will also lead to the absence of disease and will develop enough amount of memory cells in our body that will help our body to fight against such kind of germs in future purpose but if our adaptive system fails it will lead to the death of the individual so this is the fate of primary immune response in case of secondary immune response or the second time exposure of our body cells to such kind of pathogens it will then activate innate and memory cells of the adaptive immunity together and this two types of immunity or immune components will fight against that germs or pathogens more severely than the previous one and will lead to the condition of absence of disease thus in our body primary immune response and secondary immune response act and fight the germs likewise so this conclude our today's discussion on the basic concept of immunology we will meet again with another topic next time till then goodbye